It is harder right now than it was a year ago to generate leads, to get attention on social media. But that doesn't necessarily mean it has to be a bad thing. That just means you need to pivot, number one. Number two, because it's harder that you have to get back to basics and doing what we had to do prior to short form video existing. There's a lot more competition out there, but here's the truth. Your competitors are feeling the squeeze with the economy. Your competitors are having a harder time getting attention. So this is your opportunity to step it up. This is your opportunity to get better. Don't be bitter, get better. Don't be frustrated, get fascinated. Be like, this is fascinating. What can I learn from this? How can we pivot? But this is why we have to have a back to basics conversation. Really get excited about this conversation because if you remember what it was like to be new, when you were ignorance on fire versus now sometimes your knowledge on ice. How many of you know what I'm talking about? Like if you had to start all over and you were building from scratch, how would you show up every day? How fired up would you be? How excited would you be to make it happen? In fact, before TikTok was a thing and you could go viral and have all these leads and all these sales with one seven second video, before that was a thing, before TikTok even existed, I, I can still remember when Instagram became popular and I just wasn't into it. And still today, I mean, we have a decent following on Instagram. We have a decent following on TikTok, but still today I generate more leads, more sales, have better real relationships on Facebook. And Facebook is still the beast of all beasts. Years ago, years ago, when I first started leveraging Facebook, I first started putting myself out there, doing videos, making content, making connections. One of the things, and this is again, a back to basics conversation, but I think it's something all of you have to hear. Back in the day, we started using business pages. We started using Facebook groups to build our network, to connect with like-minded people. In fact, I'm gonna give you a challenge. I want you, to write down some of the things that you are as a person. Like, who are you? What are the things you're into? What are your hobbies? What are the things that you do? Like, for instance, maybe you like to work out, you know, jogging, running. Maybe you're into, you know, it's funny. I always tell the story about the woman that joined a bunch of scrapbooking groups, right? She joined those groups and met like-minded people and started having her, her record success and rank advancements from people she met in scrapbooking groups buying her products. You know, it's as simple as that. Maybe you own Airbnbs. Start getting into groups with like-minded people. Who are the kinds of people you want to attract? Maybe you're in entrepreneurial groups, uh, marketing groups. Maybe you get into some local communities with local business owners. You have to start thinking outside the box and not just relying on your immediate warm market. I have to tell you, the majority of people in my business today, they did not know me. So how did we meet them? We met them in you know, marketing groups, social media groups, blogging groups, entrepreneurial groups, right? Those were the kinds of people we wanted to connect with. So think about who you are, what you do for a living or what you've done in the past. In fact, check this out. When I was a mortgage banker and I got back into network marketing, guess who I recruited? I recruited a lot of real estate professionals, mortgage brokers, why? Because we spoke the same language. You have to start connecting with like-minded people. Maybe there's some big influencers. Maybe the kinds of people that you would wanna work with follow Shalene Johnson, right? Maybe they follow Grant Cardone. Maybe they follow some of these amazing influencers, these, you know, John Maxwell, whatever. The point is you start following these pages and you spend maybe just 15 to 20 minutes a day. 15 to 20 minutes every day, intentionally connecting and making friends in these groups, it, on these pages. Maybe you go into the Facebook groups you're already in. Like I'm in Baltimore Ravens groups, right? I'm in some groups with cockapoos. Why? Because I got a couple cockapoos. I'm in travel baseball groups. Why? My son is a travel baseball player. Do you get it? Go into these groups and just introduce yourself. Create conversation. Be a friend first and a marketer second. Back to basics. This ain't rocket science. It's amazing to me how much we overcomplicate this business. Our goal is to make friends, connect with like-minded people. Imagine if you just connected with one person every day for the next 30 days, made a new friend every day for the next 30 days. That's 30 new followers, 30 new Facebook friends, whatever. Imagine if you just Ask the open question. You just pop the question to see if people are open to your products or opportunity, one a day. That's 30 people over the course of a month. How many of you 
can honestly say that you do that right now? How many of you can honestly say that you're making new friends every day? that you're popping the question every day. Now, for those of you that are a little hungrier, you right, right, you wanna put more time and effort into your business, you know, we always teach 553. Five, every day, you should have a goal of connecting with five friends, five new friends, five old friends, doesn't matter, five people every day that you have not talked to, you know, ever, you've never talked to them, or at least it's been a while, right? Then five people, you pop the question, and then three people, you ATM, three people, you expose to your opportunity, your products. Imagine if you did that every day for 30 days. So whether it's one a day or five, five, three, it doesn't matter. The point is creating conversations. You are a professional conversation starter. And I was talking to Amanda Forbes. She's an amazing leader uh, that we work with. And she was saying how like she got a Peloton. She joined a Peloton group and did a little post, like introduced herself. It was a picture of her and her new Peloton that I'm sure she had Brandon take the picture, right? Her husband. And she did a post in the group. And again, she didn't go in there to pitch and sell and prospect. She just went in there to introduce herself. She went in there to introduce herself and just say, hey, which instructors are your favorite? She just created conversation. She got like 200 comments on that post, a bunch of new friends. And you know, the best part is it's people that are into fitness and health and wellness and it's positive, amazing, motivated people, right? The kinds of people you would probably want to attract into your company, into your team. Not going in there to pitch and sell, just going in there to make friends. You know, sometimes again, uh, we don't have a, a great warm market. How many of us can relate to that? Some of us get started and, you know, our you know, friends and family don't maybe trust us or they don't look at us as an expert or someone that just oozes success, right? Maybe we've done a couple of these things in the past and there's some people out there that maybe uh, don't necessarily uh, pay attention to our posts, our content, you know, the things that we're putting out there. And that's fine because here's the thing. Some people, it's just a timing situation. Like maybe down the road, they'll have more interest. Maybe down the road, when something bad happens, it forces someone to be more open-minded to other options, to other opportunities. So all of you have a miracle in your mouth and it's time to start having those conversations. And I want to I wanna create a little FOMO. I want to create a little FOMO for you because the truth is there are people right now that are on their knees every night praying for something, and you have a solution. You have an opportunity that you could share with these people, but you're being stingy. You're being selfish. In fact, some of you are like a secret agent. Like, you are not proactive. But what's the point of adding all these new friends if I'm not gonna talk to them just like I haven't talked to the other 1,000 Facebook friends I have? Do, do you get that? So as much as I want you to connect with new people, meet new people, make new friends, make new, don't just assume that every existing friend that you have ain't interested, right? You have to look at building your business, not like a job, not linear income, exchanging time for dollars. You're building a foundation in the beginning, brick by brick, brick by brick. And over time, over time, you might build a freaking castle. You understand? You might build a whole city. You might build an empire, but it's brick by brick, laying that foundation. The hardest part is the beginning. Be a friend first and a marketer second. I think sometimes we forget, like if our engagement sucks, we forget to exercise the law of reciprocity. You wanna give what you wanna get, right? Give more engagement, give more value, out give the competition out connect the competition because people do business with people they know, like, and trust. And if you build up the no like, you'll build the trust. And if they trust you, they'll do business with you. They'll be more open to asking you about your product when you post it in your stories. They'll be more open to asking you about the opportunity. Does that make some sense? And then what I also want you to do, write this down, is plan, do, review. So have a plan, do the plan, take action, right? Don't just learn. At some point, you want to remove the L and earn, but you have to take action and see how is it working for you? Like a lot of you are in Facebook groups right now and you never post in those groups. So I want you to start being more intentional with posting value in those groups. I want you to be more intentional, maybe 15 minutes a day, 15 minutes a day, go into those like-minded groups, five, 10, 15 groups, right? Whatever it is, could be five groups, could be three groups and go in and just start engaging on the posts in those groups. Maybe you make a friend with the admin, you connect with the moderators in those groups. Same thing with the business pages. Spend 10, 15 minutes every day just commenting on other people's comments. Here's why I like that. Those are people already engaging on social media. They're already in groups. The easiest people in the world to ATM are people that are already on Facebook. They're already in Facebook groups. They're already engaging. And then here's the final piece. Here's the final piece. Paying attention to people that are posting stories. 
My favorite people in the world are the people that are already posting stories. You can respond to their story and you're immediately in their inbox. You can immediately start those conversations. Again, back to basics. Write this down. I am a professional conversation starter. That's all sales is. Whoever has the most conversations wins.